Hey everybody, Rune the Gaming Dad from the Arc Trade Federation, and today we're on Arc Survival Ascended, and we're going to show you how to use the new spotlight that's in the Bob's Tall Tales DLC for Aberration. So, where do you get the spotlight? Let's start with the engram. So, it's a level 54, and it doesn't take a whole lot to make 150 ingots. 200 crystal and 10 electronics not super expensive to make but you can put custom images on this you can just freehand paint on it but you can actually put custom images on it it just does take a little bit of work and a little bit of finessing a program that already works for paintings to make it work for the spotlight so let's explain it so first things first we're just going to put down a spotlight you need to be powered by a generator so we're going to turn it on we're going to mount the spotlight with e and we're just going to put it on the wall Okay, so this is where you need a few things. So in the description of the video, I am going to put not only the link to the program that I use to convert images for ARC, but I'm also going to put in the description the link to the video that I made a little while back that shows how to make custom paintings in ARC Survival Ascended. So you can do other things besides the spotlight. So here is the page that you need to go to for Steam. I'll link it in the description. But this right here is the program. It's called the ASA Painting Converter. And I'll share this link up here in the description so you can download it. So that's the first thing that you need is this program. Also, you're going to need some sort of image that, that you want to put on the spotlight. So I'm going to take a picture of the logo of the Arc Trade Federation. So here it is right here. It's just the logo for the channel. And what you can see is this is image is a circle um, for the most part. And I gave it some room around the outside. And the reason why is because when we use the ASA painting converter, we're actually going to save this as a square image because they don't have the program updated yet for the spotlight. Once they do, it should work out really easy. But this is a way to do it kind of before they make that happen. So you can see I've given myself some room around the edges and you'll see why here in a little bit. But if you were to save this image just like this, it's going to show up backwards on the spotlight because the spotlight takes basically a reflection of the image onto the onto whatever surface you want to put it on. So I'm in the just the paint program in Windows and I'm going to flip it horizontal so it's backwards and then I'm going to save it and I'm just going to save it as a as a JPEG picture. And I'm just going to call this test logo. And that is saved. So now we're going to go out of that program and we're going to go into the ASA painting converter. So we've got the ASA painting converter up. And just so you're aware, you can have the game open while you're doing this, if you're playing on a PC, of course and actually make these paintings and then just go right back into the game and where they're saved at, you're actually going to be able to just paint them right away. So it's a cool little cool feature. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to open file and we're going to go find our test logo, which is right here. And you can see it looks all weird here. So what you want to do is uncheck dithering, which is right down here in the corner and you can see it cleans it up. Now, if you enable all of the colors, which is in the bottom left, and I am going to move our logo to the other to the top here just to help you out to see. So if you come down here and hit enable all colors, this is going to look fantastic. However, when you put it on the spotlight, it just basically is black because it's it, it doesn't show all the colors through because you're basically putting a painting on it. So first things first, we're going to disable all. Then I'm just going to pick white and I'm going to pick one color. So the program itself will do a great job of it. If you just go down to one here at the bottom and just hit calculate the best one color for your picture and it's going to do kind of like a midnight blue for us because the logo itself has a lot of blue in it. Now we're also going to make this category here a structure and then we're going to make it a painting canvas one column by one row. Then we're going to convert to PNT, and it's going to say file successfully, play, save, check output directory. You can actually get to the output directory by hitting this. It tells you the output directory here, puts it right where it needs to be for ARC to find it. You can actually open that, that location on your PC, and you will have to do this step in order for it to work. So we're going to hit open, 
and we're going to show you this is where it and I'll try to link it or put the picture up on the screen for you to see but it's under wherever your games are stored whatever drive your games are stored Steam library Steam apps common Arc Survival Ascended shooter game saved my paintings it's pretty complex now if you're playing on console and I've had a lot of comments on my painting video for people to play on PlayStation and Xbox there's not really a way for you to get into the files very easily in the PlayStation and the Xbox in order to be able to put this on there. So the suggestion was made by people that play on console that I kind of share a uh, official server with that have someone that does play on PC paint those things for you and they'll still show up on your base. So not necessarily the best workaround, but it does work. Okay, I've made these file files a little bigger. Hopefully you can see it. And I'll try to zoom it in even bigger just to help run extra large icons ready. But right here is our test logo, underscore sign, underscore painting canvas, underscore C dot P N T. It's a lot of arc save data jargon, but you do have to change this in order to make it work. So you're gonna rename the file if you're, play, if, if you're on a PC, obviously use hit F2. And we're gonna leave the name of it the same under test logo, leave the underscore, get rid of sign underscore painting canvas and leave the last underscore. So now you're going to type in the word structure, BP, then an underscore, and then spotlight. And just hit enter. So it's going to, it's going to be whatever picture, whatever your file is named, mine's named test logo, underscore structure BP, underscore spotlight, underscore C dot PNT. Once that's done, you can get out of the program. You can get out of all the programs. Now, what we've got is the spotlight on the wall, and we've never exited the game, so you, you kind of got to see it kind of live and in person. We're going to use a paintbrush, and you're going to need coloring. So in the ASA painting program, the one color you choose, just make sure that in your cosmetics tab, you have that color here. If you're playing in single player and want to test this out before you go to an unofficial server or you go onto your official network, just type in cheat give colors and just type in 100 after it and it'll give you all the, the colors. All right, so we're going to go up to the front of the spotlight. We're just going to hit with the paintbrush. Then we're going to hit load paint. And I have a bunch of other ones obviously I've done here, but we're going to hit test logo and that color that it chose was midnight coloring again because we had a lot of blue in the logo to start with so we're gonna hit apply paint depending on if you have logos that are a little different however you want it to do that space around and you can see it here and I'll try to zoom in a little bit you can see that space we created around the logo when we saved it in Microsoft Paint it, it allowed this whole thing to show up in other testing and I'm going to show you the original one that I used you're going to see when I apply the paint and I used a different color but I'm going to show you what happens if you don't give it the space it needs so sometimes you just you're just going to give it that white space around what happens when you do that is it ended up cutting off some of the wording in our logo and cut off the top as well so that's why I had to give that some space so just understand that if it's going to take some trial and error it's going to take some uh, it's going to take some work and this is why I suggest doing it in single player the reason why you reverse it as you can see when it's on the wall it shows up correctly but you can see it really looks bad when it cut that off so that's why I gave it that extra space in Microsoft Paint so we're going to paint over it we're going to go to load paint we're going to go to test logo and we're just going to apply paint so it's going to paint over it and it takes a second. In Evolved, when you made paintings, it took forever. So now you can see it's a little smaller. But now, when I go onto the wall, I've got the whole logo. And there is some spacing issues that sometimes you'll have to mess with. It seems like there's a little more space on the left-hand side than the right. But you can also mount the spotlight and put this wherever you want. So you can put it around your base. You can put it around, show off around your server. But that is a way for you to take a custom image and put it on the spotlight on the wall. So pretty cool thing. Take some maneuvering. If you have questions, um, please feel free to leave them in the comments section of the video. But also, you can feel free to join the Discord. Um, it's free to join. It's in the description as well. I'm happy to answer any questions.
Just wanted to say thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to the channel. We greatly appreciate it, and we'll see you all on the next video.